There are two men who are clogging up the court systems on two continents. Now, I don't think Prince Harry is an evil guy. I think he's dim, arrogant, juvenile, naive, frivolous, easily led and ill-advised, whether by his wife or other advisors, but not evil or even ill-intentioned. Donald Trump? Yeah, he's evil. I mean, attempting to overthrow the government of the United States? Yeah, evil. And dangerous. Also dim, arrogant, juvenile, frivolous, and the rest. But here's the thing. Both these little men keep getting slapped down by the courts. Donald in the U.S. and Harry in the U.K., though judges on both sides of the pond are getting pretty tired of these two characters. With good reason. Donald Trump's legal woes are legendary at this point, at least over here in the U.S., charged with 34 felony counts for falsifying business records, indicted for stealing top-secret government documents, awaiting, as of this recording, indictment on trying to steal the 2020 election and for inciting an insurrection, getting fined a million dollars for bringing a frivolous lawsuit against Hillary Clinton, convicted of rape, I could go on, but I won't. You get the picture. Harry's legal troubles, on the other hand, are less well known, at least in the U.S., and not of the criminal variety. He is not being charged with any wrongdoing, but rather he has taken it upon himself to set out on a quest. He is trying to bring down the free press, to avenge his mother's tragic death for which he still blames the paparazzi, or to protect his family from being hounded by paparazzi in phantom catastrophic car crashes, or, or to prove that a malicious royal family entered into a secret agreement with the nasty paparazzi and didn't let him in on the secret, or to make it clear he has no idea how court systems work, that is, that one needs to go to court with evidence to back up a claim one makes before a judge because without evidence it really irritates the judge? Or, I don't know. Harry has said the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution is, quote, bunkers, unquote. Hmm. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. I mean, the First Amendment. It seems sound to me. But I'm pretty sure Harry has a general problem distinguishing between what is sound and what is not. You know the epic Spanish novel Don Quixote, written in the 17th century by Cervantes? The hero, Don Quixote, the Man of La Mancha, reads so many chivalric romances he loses his mind and decides to set out as a knight-errant to restore chivalry and serve his nation. He claims Aldonza, a slaughterhouse worker with a knack for salting pork as his lady love, and renames her Dulcinea, and off he goes tilting at windmills he mistakes for savage giants. When I think of Donald Trump, it makes me angry. I have no sympathy, as Trump is tied up in the courts because he's an evil man who does vile things on the regular. When I think of Harry, I cringe with pity. He is he, Harry Windsor, the Lord of Montecito, his destiny calls, and he goes. Harry has been forthright about his struggles with his mental health. I worry his struggles may be worse than he can admit even to himself. Your thoughts? If you like what we're doing at The Authentic, why not give this video a like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when a new video uploads. Also, think about leaving a comment and letting us know if you're worried about Harry, too. Thank you for watching.